Number 17, page 227. Higher order thinking. <clears throat> Stefan sells gin, a bicycle for $114, and a helmet for $18. The total cost for gin is 120% of what Stefan spent originally to buy the bike and the helmet. How much did Stefan spend originally and how much money did he make by selling the bicycle to Jin? So let's break this down. So Jin buys a bike and a helmet and he pays Stefan this much money. So to find the total amount that he paid for the two items, we would add, and find that Jin bought the bike and the helmet for $132. Jin has to pay Stefan this money Stefan is over here. Stefan receives Jin's money. He receives the $132. Now, Stefan had had this bike previously, and he had purchased it previously, and we're told that the price that Jin paid, the $132, is 120% of what Stefan originally paid for the bike. So I don't know um, what Stefan did when he had the bike. Maybe he repainted it. Maybe he added a bell and a basket, put new tires on it. But Stefan was able to sell that bike for more than what he paid for it. Jin paid $120 more than what Stefan originally purchased the bike for. Let's look back at the wording in our problem. Stefan sells Jin a bicycle for $114 and a helmet for $18. The total cost for gin is 120%, there's a percentage we can use, of what Stefan spent originally to buy the bike and helmet. When we see that word of, whatever is following it is going to be what the second term of the proportion is going to be. So we're going to write 120 as a ratio or a fraction. We're going to set it equal to this amount. So here is our whole. Here is our part, and remember this is 100 plus 20. And what Stefan originally paid for the bicycle came after the word of. So his original amount that he paid is what we don't know. But we do know what Jin had to pay, Jin had to pay $132. He paid more than what Stefan paid originally. So this 100% down here represents the total amount, the whole amount that Stefan paid. And then this up here is our part wherein we have 100 plus the 32. 
So what we're trying to find, find out is what was that amount that Stefan originally paid. So again, we're going to do cross multiplication. We have 120x is equal to 132 times 100. So I have 13,200. I have 120 times x over here. So I'm going to use my inverse operation from multiplication. And I'm going to divide both sides by 120 because that will get me to a value of 1 on the left. And 1 times x is just x. On the left-hand side, I have two numbers. Both of them end in zeros. So I'm going to look at the one that is the smaller quantity. And I'm going to cross out the zero down below. And I can cross out the same number of zeros above. In effect, I'm simply dividing both parts by 10 there by crossing that out. So now I'm left with 1,320 divided by 12. When I use my calculator and do that division, I find that the original price of the bicycle that Stefan paid was $110. And if I were to put $110 back in here, you'll notice it is smaller than this number. And on the other side, the bottom number is smaller than the top number. Not by a huge quantity and not by a huge quantity. So this makes sense. The second question, I just found out Stefan spent $110 originally. How much money did he make by selling the bicycle and helmets to gin? Well, that's called your profit. If you had to pay this amount originally and then you resold it for $132, we find out how much money you actually made by subtracting the two quantities. Stefan had to pay this originally. He received this when he sold it to Jen. So you can do the subtraction on a calculator, you can do it horizontally, you can do it vertically, and you'll see that he made $22 on the deal.